Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good night. How are you? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. David. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. And you? Yes, you Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry about that. It, it rained it rained near my house a while ago so um so uh my internet was it was a little low how are you i am fine can you hear me yeah i can hear you perfectly okay because uh, sometimes I have problem with my headset, with my earbud. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. No worries. So, how was your day today? Was everything okay? Everything different? So far, so good, teacher. Another well, day. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> another day, another penny. <laughs> another penny. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, Edgar? I was um in 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 Facebook. I was reading uh um how old are you, Edgar, if I may ask? I am 42 years old. Okay, 42. Good. I, so I think you will understand. Do you remember maybe 20 years ago? It was like a okay. luxury. It was a luxury to eat in a Pizza Hut or McDonald's or Burger King. Yeah, exactly. And now, ironically, it's cheaper to eat in a Burger King than a comedor. <laughs> yeah, the comedor is more expensive. Yes, you know, I went to a, a comedor. It's actually a diner. Mm -hmm. I went to a diner Saturday and I bought sopa de pata, right? Okay. <laughs> Delicious. You know, yeah, I love sopa de pata. But, you know, and I said, um, okay, thank you. Cuento le debo. 450 I was like, wow. Four fifty. Ooh. Yeah, it, and it was like a cheap, it was a normal diner, you know. And yeah. I was thinking, and... Wow. <laughs> With 50 cents more, I could buy a pizza in Little Caesars. <laughs> Ironically, right? So um I, I well the reason I was telling you is in Facebook, I have a there's a page called El Salvador Antaño. And you see like pictures from old newspapers from like a, a biggest. And you see, yeah, and then you see like promotions of biggest, like a super hamburger with fries and a Coca-Cola for 49 colones. 49 colones is similar to what five dollars? Yeah. So really, so really, it hasn't really changed the price <laughs> <laughs> because basically that's how much it costs today. It's the but same price. is a lot of way um, expensive. Mm -hmm. A burger can cost you like eight to nine dollars. Yeah, but you know, I think I think you have to be a smart a smart shopper how so for example i i love mcdonald's for me the big mac is the best hamburger 
right. the flavor, except yes, it's a little small, but you know that if you go to McDonald's, a combo agrandado of a Big Mac soda and 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 French fries, it's it's like six fifty. Right. Yeah, we'll get angry. Not expensive. Yeah, and if you go to Burger King, it's seven, eight dollars, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Expensive mm -hmm. for me. It's like um I am a I am a coffee lover. I love coffee. But I really enjoy a good cup of coffee. But mm -hmm. I I think in El Salvador we don't appreciate coffee. Um Yes, you, I, you I, I always tell people, nos jactamos de ser cafeteros, and we're not. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, en El Salvador consumimos sobrecitos, you know, de café listo, <laughs> musum. Musum. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's not coffee. Uh, instant coffee is not. Even, well. For example, for me, the best coffee in El Salvador, the best coffee is Gasolinera Uno. Mm. Um, the coffee I, cup? No, no. I, I like I, I like the coffee in La Uno. I like the coffee in Mr. Donut because it really tastes like coffee. It's really good. But if you go to Burger King or Wendy's, can, you know, it's bien suave. And I always tell them, how come this is light? Que la gente no le gusta muy fuerte. <laughs> what about the Starbucks? No, you see, that's the problem. Because the problem is if you go to Starbucks, you will pay $10. Mm -hmm. And the coffee is altered. Because yeah. then you say, me la puedo poner saborizante, this and that and this and that. So it's like. They mix so many flavors. Yeah, it's like, it's like drinking tequila. You know, tequila is good. Like the flavor, like. Phew. But then if you say a, a margarita, no sé qué, blah, 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 then you altered the tequila. So you really mm -hmm. don't know if the tequila was good or not because they put so many flavors. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my humble. Juan humble Valera, about, and about coffee, teacher. Excuse me? Do you, do you remember the flavor of coffee from Pollo Campero? Yeah. That, the, Sometimes I go, no, no. Yes, it was very that was good. coffee, too. Yes. And you know, uh, that um, Mr. Donut, Mr. Donut has that flavor. It has very good coffee. And what I like about uh, Gasolinera Uno is that I used to barista. The, the coffee is there, so they grind it freshly. Like, mm -hmm. Ahí mismo, eh? No está ahí acalentado hecho, no. You, they make it for you in the moment. And that's good. Yeah, actually, it's, it's pretty good. Very it's fresh. It's fresh. Uh, and there I tell the barista, me lo puede dejar un poquito más fuerte, por Like the normal. Que me so like the strong. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, really that café listo and then sobre or, or that's not coffee, man. <laughs> even Folgers instant. But it's cheaper. No, but even 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 if it's Juan Valdez or Folgers in in um instant coffee, it's not the same like a coffee coffee. You know which coffee I think is very good, and that's the one I drank is Cafe Rico, the cafetera. Is that de los baratos, right? Porque. <laughs> It's very good. I have, I have, um, I have. Uh, um, some of my partners say that Rico Cafe is good for cafetera. <laughs> it is for me. It's the best. Rico and um, Lo Nuestro. Those are in, in econom. If if we speak the basic, the Lo Economicos, Rico is the best, and and uh, Lo Nuestro. Cause Cafe La Majada, no, I I prefer Rico. Even when you look at the coffee, it's very dark. So you know it's real good coffee. It costs cafes. No, man. 
my stomach burn when I uh, drink uh, Rico. <laughs> really? But yeah. Do you, do you drink it instant or or? No, no. Oh. The um. Oh, like not... the, 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 the semilla. Yeah, okay. but the the reason why is because it's very strong. So I recommend you to put a little bit more water. Necesito despertar. I need to be awake. <laughs> That's why I drink strong. <laughs> this is my cup. I drink. I drink four of these a day. I'm sorry, Laura. In Price Mart, I I well, in in La Uca has a, a little market. Mm -hmm. So there, I bought a coffee from Colombia. That oh, is. Really? instant coffee but it's really good oh really i really i really yes it's, it's from member selection is the the run oh. from price oh, mart. from price mart oh okay yes. Yes. It, i recommend i recommend oh, okay my good my husband suffer with me because i i drink my coffee uh, without sugar and he loves with sugar so sometimes he wants to drink from my coffee and finish making some <laughs> some faces that you <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i definitely i understand <laughs> um yeah i mean everybody has different you know what i don't like when you go to like pueblos and they tell you this is cafe de las montañas and gourmet every, every time i go to a pueblo i buy coffee you know but they all taste the same. Like, they're not very good quality. Como las quesadillas, que les dicen quesadillas especiales. And, you know, que echas en horno. And when you eat them, they don't taste nothing like quesadillas, quesadillas. That's for tourists. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Where I live, there's a lady that she makes quesadillas the traditional way. That you smell the cheese. Oh, the delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, class. So let me open. I'm trying to open my portal. It doesn't open. So how was your day today? Anything different? Anything new? No, same, same. Uh, well, but that's one good thing about your job. Um Susana, that it's not, it's not really the same thing every day, right? You, no, just... I mean, at my job, no, it's not. Actually, every day is a new thing. <laughs> but, I mean, I spend eight to ten hours sitting. So, for me, it's the same, being sitting right there. And then I have to go to, to do some things for my daughter, and then go to the gym and some, uh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. When I was an interpreter, it was difficult because <clears throat> sometimes I wish I could stay until the end. Uh -huh. And then sometimes they tell you, okay, thank you, interpreter. We'll stop here. Have a great day. We go like, oh man, what happened? <laughs> we go like, oh man, I wish I want. I, I want to know what happened. <laughs> yeah, it, we heard we heard a call once, and um, <clears throat> there was this lady that she called the police, mm -hmm. and this was in their training. So I could talk about that because it was a training and um, what to do in, in special situations. So then this lady called the police and then you hear the, the lady, the, the police say, 911, can I help you? Hi, um, I would like to order a pizza. Uh, Ma'am, you're calling 911. Yes, uh, with pepperoni, please. Hi. <laughs> My God. Yeah, and then, ma'am, you're calling the police. Do you know that? How many slices is the big one? But the, the, the problem here, it was the, the, the police woman. 
because it took her like five minutes to realize. Oh, come on. Yes. You know, it took her like five minutes to realize, ma'am, are you pretending you're Check calling a pizza? Are you in trouble? Yes, please. I would like one. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, so yeah, we're listening to that. Like, okay, um, are you hostage? Are you kidnapped? Is somebody in your house? Yes, please. Pepperoni. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, and then it was a very interesting story, but we never heard the ending. Like, oh, man. You know, you say like, oh man, I want to hear the ending. It's supposed to be a code for mm -hmm. uh, domestic violence, but uh, 911 is not always the best thing in the U.S. No, they're very bad. I can tell you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> One time I had a, a special case that um this... I don't know, man. You, you, it's like, I, I think it's similar to your job, Susana, but when you're an interpreter, mm -hmm. you listen to many bad things. It's like, you get very angry. You get, you know, one time I was going to faint, mi mm -hmm. madre interpreting. Um, it was funny because when my baby was born, I fainted. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. I, 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 no one did. So we, I got nervous. And, oh. Emotion. <laughs> yes. But you see, the, blood in us. <laughs> yeah, but you see, you don't know you're like that until you, you go into that moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I blank. I just remember I saw my wife screaming and and uh, and and I didn't know I was like that. Um, when my baby was born, the second vaccine, like in the in los tres meses or something, mm -hmm. the the doctor told me to go out. The the doctor didn't permit me anymore because I he started... doesn't trust in you. No, I... kind of face. He was afraid. I started crying. I was crying. Uh... I I really was crying and because I was looking at my baby. You know, my baby was so happy playing with me. Oh my god! Te van a apoyar, te van a apoyar, and I started crying. <laughs> yeah. So then, when they did the COVID exam on my baby, the COVID test, I vomited. Mm -hmm. Well, because oh. you know they had to put the oh. and I heard my baby scream and oh my god and it I vomited. Disgusting. So I didn't know I was like that. So one time I was interpreting, mm -hmm. and then there was this pregnant woman and the gynecologist. Okay, interpreter, ask her if she can feel my fingers. Puedes sentir mis dedos? Sí, yes. Okay, inter oh, what is it? What? Oh, no. And the woman started going into labor. Oh, my God. Seriously? At that moment, yes. And I was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And I heard the woman started screaming, like, interpreter, tell her to calm down. We need to um, do a C-section. Señora, necesito que se calme. Le vamos a hacer una como cesárea. And then I remember I was getting dizzy. Imagine on the, oh, on the phone. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. But it's cool. Okay, so remember entertaining. Yes. So yesterday we were doing um describing problems using a past participle and using a noun, correct? Yes. All right. All right. Like remember, uh, I think the perfect example is um my phone is broken or my phone has a scratch? Has a scratch. Yes. A scratch would be a noun. The broken, it's the... um. No. It's the past participle, yes. So let me share the screen with you. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
let's do the knowledge check. Yes. So read the comments from the customer in a restaurant. You may write your sentences with the past participle or with nouns. Use forms of the word in parentheses. This tablecloth isn't very clean. It It's a stain. A stain. It has it, a stain. It's stained. It's stained. It's stained. Okay, so it's okay. a stain. We can do this. It's it oh, has a stain. It's stained. Only that. Oh. It, it has, has a, a, a stain. A stain. Both are correct. Okay. You know what? Let me let me show you the answer because of so, Ivy. So look, this tablecloth. Do you know? Do you do you know what tablecloth is? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, is the is the piece of tela? Uh, uh huh. To cover the table. <laughs> Yes, it's it's the it's the cloth that covers your table, Susanna. But really, people don't use tablecloth anymore. <laughs> uh, I have one plastic. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that old old school people they have plastic. Mm -hmm. It's easier to clean. Yeah. I'm Moscow. <laughs> oh, you have I have I have yeah. a I have a table, my dining table, and I never we never use it with my wife and my son. We always eat in the living room in those little tables. Mm -hmm. It's All bad, right. I know it's bad, it's bad, but oh. I mean I love my dinner table, so we eat here. Oh, that's good. No, it's not dinner table, it's diner. Diner. Con dos N's. Dinner is, no, that's okay. Right. No, no and, and, and that's very good, you know, because diner with two N's is comedor. Diner. Diner. Dinner. It's I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. I never heard. Dinner is with two N's, uh -huh. correct? That's dinner. With one end is diner. Oh, that's the difference mm -hmm. with that two words. Yes. All right. Exactly. Diner is the place where you eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's like my 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 father and mother in law. They bought furniture recently. <laughs> they mm -hmm. bought this antique furniture, like those Luis Quince sofas. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, man! They were so beautiful. And I don't know, they spent like two thousand dollars on on the sofas, but they're beautiful. Two thousand. Wow. Yeah, they're very expensive. I, I didn't know they were that expensive. But the story is <laughs> the story is that when I go home, I mean, uh, you know, I went with them because we had to put them in the in the pickup and everything. So the next day I go, ya los tenían cubierto con cloth. <laughs> it's like, oh man, <laughs> that's not cool you know? for the stain. <laughs> yeah, but it takes it takes the beauty of it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but hey, it's old school. Yo le dije me por contar que no lo forren con plástico. I was thinking about plastic. <laughs> <laughs> they used to do that yeah long time ago <laughs> the old school days they used to do that okay so number two i'm going to just could we have another water pitcher this, this one, one has a leak this one has a leak or this one is leaking this one is leaking Good. Do you know what is a pitcher? Pitcher. 
<laughs> yes. Like, you know, yeah. when you go, yeah, when you go to um, Pizza Hut, they have pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you know, when you buy the family, uh, get the, fa the family, they mm -hmm. serve you the soda and this pitcher. Hey, I was thinking about the player in softball. <laughs> I'm sorry. In baseball. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> y está la palabra pitch. Do you know what pitch is? Mm, mm. <laughs> pitch hey. with a P S and Peter, not not. <laughs> Don't think. Uh. Okay. Pitch <laughs> is who works in cells here. What? <laughs> who works selling things? Oh. Does anybody <laughs> sell? Apparently nobody. You know, I bet you somebody here sells. They just don't want to speak or maybe they're not paying attention to the class. Let me see. The Stanley sells shoes. Yeah, I remember two people here told me that they sell shoes. Yeah, and Stanley true. has two different jobs, I think. Jose yeah. Daniel, where do you work? What? Where do you work? Excuse me? Oh, no, uh, on the stuff. Where do you work? No government. I'm sorry? Government? No, I need a complete answer, please. Where do you work? Go government. Work government. I don't understand. In the government? No, tell me in English, please. That's a very basic answer. I work in the government. I live in Santa Tecla. I am married. So where do you work? I am not teacher. Do you understand my question or can you hear me? Sí, yo entiendo que trabaja en el, en el gobierno, yo sé, pero quiero que me lo diga en forma completa. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les dije el lunes de que tuvimos la plática larga? De que procuren siempre contestar larga porque si solo contestamos con palabras nunca vamos a llegar a ese punto de que hey, yo entiendo todo pero no puedo hablar es por eso porque siempre respondemos así where do you live Santa Tecla where do you work government are you married no so practice Jose Daniel where do you work Daniel no 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 me entiende It's okay. It's, it's, no, no, oigo. Creo que... Oh, activa el micrófono, José Daniel. Okay. No. Entiende no, mi pregunta. No entiende mi pregunta. Entiendo como dónde trabajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, ajá, es una institución del gobierno. Sí, pero quiero que me diga eso en una forma completa en inglés. Es su primera vez en clase, este es su primer mes. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. No, no problem, no problem. Le, le ha estado costando la clase últimamente, entender, lunes, martes. Yes. Le ha costado. Sí, Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Dígame, please. Porque a veces puedan, puedan, y suele pasar que estamos mal, eh, estamos mal evaluados y estamos en una clase diferente. ¿Me entienden? Pero díganme, porque, okay, no problem, no problem, Daniel. Thank you. Ah, por, 
Ya, yeah, pues si no, hay, voy a hacer una nota de eso para. Ajá, porque como eh, es, estamos en el avanzado 2, preavanzado. So. Por eso, por eso me, 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 me pareció algo raro eso. Ok, no problem. Thank you, José Daniel. Thank you, teacher. Y la, ¿por qué le pregunté eso? I forgot. Where do you work? I work in. Do, do. I forgot. There was a reason for that. Okay, let's do number three. The table looks pretty dirty. The wood to scratch. 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 Has scratched. Has scratches. Yeah, is scratched or has a scratch. Has a scratch. Or has a lot of scratches. Uh -huh. Or has a lot of scratches. Good. Has a lot of scratches. Teacher, yes. I, I have a lot of difficult to speak because I I my practice is not it's not enough I recognize but when I sing I can do it fluent <laughs> what you want to practice your fluency mm -hmm. but when I sing it's very easy for me when you sing it when I am singing Okay, then sing. <laughs> no, I mean anything. Anything that makes makes it better is good. What I recommend you, what I recommend you, class, is listen. Y por, ya he tenido problemas por dar este consejo porque la gente me ha entendido mal. So, va a decir en español solo para que. No worry. <laughs> Ustedes están aprendiendo un idioma nuevo, correcto? Sí. Entonces, están a nivel de un niño que está aprendiendo a hablar su idioma nativo, ¿correcto? Sí. Yeah. Pero conste de hablar, no de otras cosas. <laughs> Just to speak. Yeah, because I, you know, I have had some people that got offended. That, oh. Uh -huh, they, oh, the teacher said we're stupid. No. no. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que ve un niño que está aprendiendo a hablar ahorita? Por ejemplo, mi hijo ve Blippi. Mm. I watch uh, cartoons. I watch. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, lo que yo les recomiendo, póngase a nivel de un niño de 6, 7 años que está aprendiendo a hablar y vean un episodio de Dora la Exploradora, un ejemplo. Aunque no le guste o le guste o no, véanlo. Si lo entienden, sin problema, good, escalen un poquito van escalando, pero si no lo entienden, ahí encuentran ustedes su nivel. Entonces, el problema que hace mucha gente es que de un solo se van a ver South Park. <ríe> o, o los Simpsons. You know? O sea, y estoy hablando de horas por horas, pero puede haber un poquito, vaya, les voy a dar un ejemplo. Si yo fuera un profesor, ustedes, si ustedes fueran profesores o profesoras de español y le están dando clases de español a un gringo que está en intermedio, y le dicen, ok, hoy vamos a ver comprensión en, en la tele. ¿Qué les pusieran? ¿El chavo del ocho o la familia peluche? El chavo. Yeah. Yeah. <risa> y yo les pusiera el chavo. El chavo. Y no porque me guste el show o no, pero como el chavo era hecho para todas edades, entonces la historia, el idioma, su forma de hablar, todo iba a ser más entendible que la familia peluche. O sea, la familia peluche, esta persona la va a entender cuando ya vivió suficiente tiempo en este lugar y entiende el caliche cultural. Hay, hay, hay muchas cosas que van. Entonces, es lo que yo le digo a la gente. O sea, si van a practicar viendo algo, no empiezan viendo Fast and the Furious, Rápido y Furiosos en inglés. Yeah. Yo empezaré ya viendo Toy Story. Mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, yes. I usually do that. Uh, 
hear in the native language all the show, TV shows or movies. But once I try with the uh, Peaky Blinders, oh my God. Oh, yeah, it's, it's difficult. That, that's not even English. Yes. I, <laughs> yes. I have and, downloaded, mm -hmm. I have downloaded an app of the radio app in my cell phone. In every day I hear, a, I listen a little bit of English news. But li listen or... to music, listen to music from the 50s and the 60s. Ah, yeah. Like Beatles. Frank Sinatra, <laughs> Frank Sinatra, yes. Because it's very simple. Okay, it's a perfect yeah. example. Si yo, si yo le diera clases de español a, a alguien, no le pusiera Arjona. No. Porque y hasta alguien que nosotros nativos no entendemos lo que quiere decir a veces es like muy si complicado el norte para el sur. dime que no y te me tendrás pensando en un sí en whatever whatever you know like what <laughs> so ahora con la fluidez la fluidez es súper fácil Irma yo yo soy fan yo soy adicto de ir a las tiendas de segunda mm -hmm. Porque me gustan cosas de colección. Posters, las la, la partes de cristalería me encantan. Y de hecho, yo he comprado muchos libros porque a mí me gusta leer. Y compré libros para niños. Pero lo va a comprar para practicar su fluidez, no su comprensión. Uh -huh. Let me give an example. Imagine. Mickey Mouse. Hey. So you open the book. Primero, the book has only two sentences. Mickey Mouse woke up in the morning and ate breakfast. Ahí terminó toda la página. Y ahí uno se queda. Pero está fácil, man. Eso no. Porque lo leyeron así. Así lo leyeron. Mickey Mouse woke up in the morning and ate breakfast. Next. Mm -hmm. He went to the supermarket and bought food. He passed by the park and bought flowers for Minnie Mouse, etc., etc. And then 10 pages, the book finishes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, vuelvo a leer. Mickey Mouse woke up and ate breakfast. He went to the supermarket. He bought food. He passed in the park and he bought mini. And then finish and then read it again. Read it again. And that's your fluency. Okay, I will do. Thank you so much yeah. for the advice. Yes. Have you seen a gringo okay. or a European say, what is this? Pupusas, what? <laughs> Pupusas. <laughs> Papusas. Pa pa ya, pero tanto decirlo, <laughs> aunque lo diga con acento, para decir, hey, let's go eat some papusas. <laughs> Why? They Because <laughs> of, of repeating so many times, of repeating so many times, that's mm -hmm. how you practice your fluency. Because so, I have, I have a, I have an experience recently. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's my little secret, but it's not a secret more. <laughs> I was in a call center. Uh -huh. I apply at TELUS, but um, even I could understand the most, uh, but w there was some accent that I couldn't understand, mm -hmm. and they fired me. Hmm. Yeah, it, it happens because it that's the most important in a call center. Um, I seen people take diplomas. Hey, I graduated in, in English for call centers. I graduated in Mauka. Mm -hmm. Because that's my diploma, but it's okay. You can have five, ten diplomas. What they need is for you to understand and people to understand you. That's really the it's not only to speak. I have to understand the different exactly the different accents. Yes, but you know, eventually with time, you 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 get to understand it. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to practice fluency, read books for children. 
please don't read Harry Potter or <laughs> or Lord of the Rings. It's very complicated. I don't like it. I am learning <laughs> in Spanish is complicated. I mean, what? Um, at least the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's very complicated. <laughs> the, the, the three little pigs, I will. <laughs> exactly, the three little pigs. <laughs> yeah, because remember what I told you Monday. English is three things you need to, the curve, you need to have straight. You need to have comprehension, your fluency, and your grammar. Yeah. Those three things have to be, but it's very difficult. So some people have very good comprehension, terrible grammar. Some people have good fluency, bad, um, or good grammar, good fluency, but terrible comprehension. So, you know. So you have to analyze what is your weak point. And in your weak point, i.e., start. Okay. All right. Um, yes. Um, I have something that I have discovered uh, while I was studying English or learning. Because you say that we are learning. Exactly. English. Um, that first, first of all, uh, we have to listen and listen English before to get grammar. Because the most we begin with grammar, but we don't have our ears accustomed mm -hmm. to the sounds. And that is the mistake because we, we have the the desire to improve our English, but our ears don't have the custom about the sounds, the different accents. And yes. Well, you know what? Let me give you an example. And maybe Susana and somebody who has worked in a call center. Um, when you go to a call center and you go to a training, in the training, as in Omimo, people take notes like you're studying. Mm -hmm. But really, when do you learn? You learn when you're on the floor. Mm -hmm. When you are in operations, that's when you learn. So I recommend people that when you're in training, I tell them, don't study. Learn it. Learn. Learn Let it. Let me tell you something about me. I never mm -hmm. had an English class until... Uh, last month, actually. Really? Yes. All of the English that I know, um, I learned uh, when I was like, when I was a teenager, I used to travel a lot. So it was, oh, I have to speak German or or uh, French. Why? Why? Oh, did I had to speak. Why did mm -hmm. you travel a lot? Because I want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Because... <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yes. So that's how I learned, actually. And because I was uh, like, a, I used to like um, uh, take the lyrics of the songs and translate it to Spanish. So that's how I learned, actually. I never had a grammar, uh, um, what? Class Lesson. ever, ever. So for you me. Sorry? You acquired the the idiom, the English by this. Yeah, perhaps. And at my work, I mean, it's uh in English work, right? But it's more it's it's almost everything uh typing. So I I, I don't have to talk too much English. So that's why I have trouble with uh trying to to be more fluid talking. But you know, you don't talk English, you speak English. You yeah, um, speak. <laughs> no, 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 it's very good. And I really admire you, Susana, for that because that's an ability. Um, let me explain something. Antes que nada, que se, vieron que les mandé un mensaje al chat, the WhatsApp, if you have WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. You let saw that? See. Let me see. Hey, teacher, I will send you the photo of my... Oh, of your dog. dog. Okay, good. Yeah. So, 
So one thing, um, le voy a mandar algo, pero yo no se los mandé, Ay. ¿ok? Ok. Es la Biblia de la gramática. Es, oh. Le voy a mandar un libro, which is very good. I use it as a teacher. I love this book. Ok. So um, I hope you, when you have free time, you should read it. Mm -hmm. uh, se está cargando. Yes. I recommend you. I don't know if you're old. I am old school. I like I like physical. Mm -hmm. I still like physical, but um, but I don't know if um, I would recommend you to print it. Oh, because it's if or or you can just read it in in your. The computer. Uh huh. Yeah, because in my cell phone, <laughs> I will blind <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> you will. <laughs> <laughs> I tell me, did it load? Hmm? Did it load? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so play with that book. It's a very, oh, very good book. Yeah, thank you. Black Mirror, English Grammar. Thank you, teacher. All right, cool. Except, you know, let us, okay? Okay, thank you. I imagine it's like anti-ethical or something. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, I don't know but uh, mm -hmm. but it's a very good book so yeah I mean that that's what I recommend to you but one of the most important thing remember I told you uh, you have to you have to practice English you yeah. really have to participate Yes. Like, if you don't understand something, immediately say, teacher, I don't understand. Can you explain that to me again? You know, and yeah. Okay, so let me, let's continue. Hold on, let me see, let me see. Did I stop sharing, Paige? No. You are not sharing. Okay, there. Now. Yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, ya me acordé porque le pregunté a Jose Daniel, where do you work? Pitch. All right, what's a pitch? Okay, eso es muy común, okay, that when you say, hey, throw your pitch. Throw your pitch is when you offer something. Mm. Usually when you sell, when you sell, um, ustedes han visto Shark Tank, los tiburones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In investors. Yeah, the investors. Okay, but if you notice the presentation, like he says, hi, my name is David and I invented this cup because in El Salvador, everybody drinks coffee, blah, 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 blah. That's my pitch. Okay. So it's like my one opportunity. It's like an opportunity. But it's my pitcher. He pitches. Eat a lot. So that, this is really happens like in, in business. You know, like, okay, look, I only have five minutes. Give me your pitch. Convince me. Hey. Hey. Yes. Uh, ¿Saben quién tiene muy mal pitch? Oh, who has? Uh, the, the people from um, credit cards. Ah. <laughs> when you're in the supermarket, they come to you. Hola, ¿qué tal? Like, oh, shit, ahí viene. <laughs> you know, yes, it, por aquí. <laughs> yeah. Sí, por aquí. Ah, ¿qué tal? Buena esa sopa, ¿verdad? Mira, fíjese que... Uh -huh. and, and this is their pitch. O sea, they're doing a pitch. 
Mm. So I think they, you know, but I think in my opinion, it's a very bad pitch. Mm. Because that's how they, hola, que tal? Oh, like, oh, man. <laughs> you know. I always say, already got it. Thank you. <laughs> no, you, no, you know what the best, the best trick is? Because if you mm. say, oh, I already have one. Y no quiere un seguro. Fíjese que le podemos dar una. No, thank you. Even, y su esposa no quiere. You know what I tell them? Fíjese que mi crédito está por el suelo. <laughs> Really, they're, they're sitting down like, gracias. Estoy en Dicón, no se preocupe. Yes, yeah, that, that's like the best. But entonces, that's a pitch. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, some, 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 yes. Sorry, is that synonymous, is that synonymous of the speech? No, I think, I think no, it would be a synonym to a opportunity. <laughs> A chance, a presentation. De hecho, in, Tark, in Shark Tanks, you have, dicho, you have visto que le han dicho, hey, me gustó tu pitch. <laughs> it was a very good pitch. Because there's a difference between when you do an introduction. Oh, okay, like in a call center, Irma. In a call center, um, yeah. sometimes they tell you, Okay, uh, they tell you, Bendame este lapis. Mm, I, yeah, but I was customer service from Walmart. Oh, okay. And the package, I didn't receive my package. Uh, it's delayed. And I had to give the solution sometimes to give, give them the refund mm -hmm. or a replace of the item but sometimes when the people uh, from india they speak i didn't understand them yeah oh man nobody understands them don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um yeah so i'm sorry now so do you understand what a pitch is yes yeah mm -hmm. and yeah i mean yeah, and so you know like when you when you start working in sales, like oh man, by I need a client, by have to sell. Come look for the city ahead, so like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So people say, so what? What was your pitch? What was your pitch? Oh. You know, I I was very good in selling. I remember, but then I didn't like it because I had to lie too much. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's do number four. It says the waiter needs a new shirt. I don't know. Yeah, the waiter needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing is torn or has a tear. Or uh, has a tear in it. Those are the possible answers. The one he's wearing has a tear. Or mm -hmm. has a tear in it. Teacher, can you tell me the difference uh, between torn and tear? Tear. Uh -huh. Well, first of all, I don't think tear there exists in Spanish. Sería tiene un hoyo. Yeah, look, it has a, my shirt. My shirt has a tear. Está picada. Rasgado. Descosida. Rasgado. Rasga. Okay, rasga. But but rem oh, but remember, tear is open. Está roto. Ah, está roto. Ah, pero está roto es the verb. It's torn. Oh, so the, torn is, is the verb. Is, yeah, uh -huh. torn es is the verb. Rotura. Tear <laughs> is the um, noun. Tiene una rotura. ¿Existe rotura? Oh, oh sí, no existe, existe, <laughs> porque yo lo he oído en médicos, tiene una rotura en el ligamento. <laughs> yes, it's true. I remember when I when I interpreted. Yeah, okay, rotura, thank you. So torn is the verb, tear is the um is no. the noun. No. All right. Remember that song torn? I like that song. You're a little late. I'm already torn. I love that song. That Harry Styles sings it too. Okay. 
Could you bring me another cup of coffee? This cup is chipped. Is chipped. That's a chip. Chipped. Okay, what is what is a chip? Um, chip. Mm. Is it positive or expensive? No. Chip is like when there's a little piece broken. Oh, that's the other. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank you. As the other would be the right. So is chipped is the verb. Chip would be the noun. It has a chip in it. Mm -hmm. okay. Chip. 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 Has Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale, yes. <laughs> Do you remember the cartoons? Oh, yes. I used to watch when I was little. I loved Chip and Dale. <laughs> A class, do you remember Beverly Hills Teens? Yes, it's creciendo en Beverly Hills. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llamaba? Que era todo arrogante. Darío, right? Darío Díaz, tercero. <laughs> yeah. Yes, hola chicas. Y la Bianca Dupre. <laughs> oh, I love Bianca. She was beautiful. Bernardo, su chofer. <laughs> oh man. Hey, I want to, hey, I'm going to watch. For that in YouTube. <laughs> and Jam and, and the holograms. Do you remember Jam? Yeah. They had a swimming pool in the limousine, remember? Dun, dun. Yes. <laughs> okay. And number six, it says the walls really need painting and the ceiling is damaged or has damage. So damaged is the verb. And damage is the noun. Yes, it's noun. It's a noun. Damage. And damaged is the verb. Yes. I got it. I think. <laughs> so, yeah, remember, sometimes the verb and the noun. So what I recommend you is, hey, so what's the difference? Is that the one is a verb and one is a noun. But you have to understand what a noun is. Right. In the, the clue for, for uh, find the difference is the bear has or have. Okay, I'm going to tell you the difference. Why? Oh, antes que nada, in my WhatsApp, uh, you will see a picture of me with crazy hair. Bonk. Yeah, I'm not a <laughs> no. What happened is, um, like one month ago, I shaved my head completely because, um, my my ex girlfriend she has cancer and um, you know, it's support. Trying to eggs. But the thing is, I never shaved my head before, so I said, "Hey, yeah, Kim, I'm shaving me the head mohawk, only for like five minutes, just to see how it looks." It looked cool, but then I shave everything. So my hair is growing back now. Now, <laughs> listen, uh, I want to. Okay. Joanna Yesenia. Yes, teacher. Is your boyfriend angry? Is your boyfriend jealous? Uh, angry. My husband is a little angry. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, lo siento por la pregunta, pero hay una razón por la que le hice no eso. Problem, I, no, listen to this. It's a phone pitch. Oh. ¿Qué pasa? Hoy voy a regresar y le digo, hey, Edgar. You know what? Joanna's married. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did a pitch. I never asked Joanna, Joanna, are you married? No, I assumed. Entonces, hey, Joanna, is your boyfriend married? Is your boyfriend angry? Yo le dije novio. Y then solo me dijo, no, my husband. Oh. <laughs> Boom, pitch. 
Oh, great example. Yeah, so imagine, okay, imagine Joanna. So imagine Joanna's okay. my coworker and I like her and I want to invite her to the movies, but I don't know if she has a boyfriend. No sé, you know. So, so, so you know, people would say, do a different pitch. So, eso fue lo que hice. Hi, Joanna. Hey, ¿qué tal? Hey. I imagine your boyfriend is very jealous. No, um, actually, I'm married, and my husband, he's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no le pregunto nada. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, because with my pitch, I discovered that she doesn't have a boyfriend. She's married. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now do you understand what pitch is? Broken heart. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let, let me tell you the difference. Oh, so no, um, so when do you use a verb and when do you use a noun? A noun. Uh, Susana, can I ask how old you are? I think you told me yesterday. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm 35. Oh, 35, okay. Yeah. Can you complete that sentence? I am 35, what? I'm 35. Uh... I'm 35 years old. Okay, good. Why in Spanish we say I have? In Spanish we say yo tengo 35, but in English it's yo soy 35. Do you know why? No. Oh, we don't know why. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't know why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. It's, <laughs> no, no, it's very simple. When you say, I am, give me an example. Okay, Joanna, I am married. Say, repeat, I am married. I am married. Okay. Imagine, I am a doctor. I am married. I am happy. I am sick. ¿Qué tienen común married, doctor, happy, and sick? I am. No, but there, what does that have in common? Married, happy, oh. sick. Estates. Yes, Cecilia. Adjectives. They are adjectives. They are words that describe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So every time you say "I am," next is a. Adjective, not a verb. That's why you never say, I am work. I am live. I am like. Now, Susana, when you say, I am 35, when I see 35 years old, old mm -hmm. is the adjective. Hmm. O sea que aunque se oiga feo, realmente así dice uno. Yo soy 35 años de vieja. Yeah. <laughs> really, it sounds ugly. It, it does. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, that's, why you, that's why you don't say I have. No worries, Susana. Mm -hmm. I am 44. <laughs> hey, I'm 45. No, I'm, I'm 44. <laughs> Uh, so, well, wow, Susana, mucha gente dice eso. I am 35 years young. Oh. <laughs> but but it, it doesn't matter if you say old or young, but old or young are adjectives. So every time you say I am, next you say a, a description. For example, I am a doctor. A doctor is a noun, it's a description. I am happy. Happy, like Cecilia de Los Angeles said, is a state, un estado, it's, a, it's an adjective. I am happy. I am fat. I am tall. I am skinny. Yes, pero nunca digan un verbo después de I am. ¿Saben cuándo ponen el verbo? Cuando no dicen am, solo dicen I. I work in. I live in. I eat pancakes every day. I drink coffee all day. <laughs> Not every day, all day. So do you see the difference? 
I eat, yes. I drink. I, those are verbs. So you can't say I am eat, I am drink. But you can use it when you're like, uh, I am drinking, I'm drinking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but that, that's different because it's it's a pre, it's a it's a tempo, it's a tense. <laughs> it's a grammatical, yeah, when you're saying them. But when you speak simple, simple, mm -hmm. um, is that I am and I for example, I am happy and I work in the hospital. The difference is I am after I am bound a description. And after you say I, a verb. All right. Yeah. So that's why people say, um, bueno, se podría decir así, Susana, I have 35 years of age. Okay. So, soy raro, pero nadie lo dice, pero sí, tengo 35 años de edad. I never heard. <laughs> yeah, although it's correct, it grammatically is correct, but you actually say I am 35 years old. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay, class, then thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow if you have the time. <gasps> um, study the book. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Hay una parte thank de ese you, libro, teacher. hay una parte de ese libro que es muy buena, que es la, el final. <laughs> Que es el glossary. Ok. El glossary va de la A a la Z y le dice que es un verbo, que es un noun, que es esto, que es esto, que es esto. Así, like, simple. Oh, yes. okay. All right. Thank you very much, class. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. Well, thank you. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank bye. you, bye. teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Y José Daniel, estoy pendiente en su casa, ¿ok? Mm.